EA Sports. It's in the game. What's good, YouTube? DM Gaming here, guys. I hope everybody's having an awesome morning, evening, afternoon, night, wherever you at. I hope it's awesome, man. So in today's video, guys, I'm not going to hold you too long, man. I'm going to jump straight into it. We are going to be talking about today iconic atmospheres for EA Sports College Football 25. If you are new to the channel, guys, please do me a solid and hit that subscribe button. Make sure to click the bell icon so you get all of the notifications. Yes, I'm posting almost daily videos and I'm posting daily into the communities tab as well, guys. This is the bus you want to get on to ride you to release because it's going to keep information out there fresh for you. It's going to keep it fresh on your mind as well. And it's going to help to take a little bit of sting out of the weight until NCAA or my bad EA Sports College Football 25 comes out. So iconic atmospheres, uh, decibel shaking soundscapes, iconic rituals and familiar college football traditions that will make you feel right at home. So yesterday, well, the first video we talked about Dynasty Mode. And yesterday we talked about Campus IQ and in Campus IQ, we uh, we did discuss some of the features as far as like the um, going into it. Just a real quick, brief rundown. You can check out that video uh, that we did yesterday on this um, about the true college game day experience. And it kind of ties in with the uh, the iconic atmospheres. So it says like powered by a wide range of player ratings that fluctuate throughout the game, team tiers and new in-game passing mechanics. EA Sports College Football 25 delivers strategic, fast paced gameplay reflecting the true depth of college football. And part of that section was the home field advantage. I don't know why they didn't put this in um, iconic atmospheres, but I kind of get it. But they kind of tie in. So just a brief rundown on home field advantage. The host team has a tangible gameplay advantage in every matchup. Test your squad's road game composure as you face various levels of distractions like screen shaking, missing pre-play icons, and moving play art. To me, that kind of goes along with the uh, iconic atmospheres because it is part of the home field stuff, but I get why they put it in Campus IQ. So for iconic atmospheres, the pageantry and, tra and traditions reveal in the sights and reveal <laughs> y'all it's 5 30 in the morning i'm sorry revel in the sights and sounds that electrify college football stadiums every saturday with traditional team runouts ritual rivalry rituals synchronized crowd chants loudness meters as well as real game day audio okay fight songs and of course mascots it feels like home everywhere you look guys one thing that separated college football from Madden were things like this, okay? Yes, Madden used to have a little decibel meter back in the gap, but it was nothing in comparison to the ones that were in NCAA. And a big one was, I, I want to say it was NCAA 2011 had it. Uh, I think the 0506 has had it where you had, actually had like the toughest places to play. And it was super cool to bust into the ranks of the toughest places to play and you're playing the game and you can see that decimal meter and you're trying to get it to where it's all the way max and stuff like that man the the screen is shaking the crowd is loud like guys and this was back on playstation 2 and 3 i can only imagine how it's going to be on next gen or current gen consoles the ps5 and the xbox one man revel in the sights and sounds that electrify college football stadiums every saturday now guys in reality there are college football games to happen on Thursdays, okay? But the big time games, they come on Saturday. You know what I'm saying? With traditional team runouts. Guys, there are runouts for the majority of these schools. And that was part of the uh part of the deal that EA Sports kind of I guess wanted to give back to the schools that said, hey, despite what the NCAA wants to do, we want to be a part of this game. It's a chef's kiss to those schools because looking at the intro for the game, um, it's really cool to see the different runouts, okay? The little the team traditions and stuff like that. So, real quick, what I want to do is 
take y'all and and let's look at a couple of those real fast so real quick guys i i, I want to play some of these uh intros for you the team introductions and stuff like that and you can find these on youtube all the time i would implore you to go and look at these but uh for the sake of the video i don't want it to get it demonetized so i am going to uh i'm not going to play the audio with it but by all means go to youtube type in best college football intros and and sit back and watch these guys so the college football intros and this is mississippi state and literally, guys, what you see is literally probably more likely what we're going to get. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of these entrances, a lot of these intros are extremely iconic. Um, they play, man, you know what? Forget it. I don't care if the video gets demonetized. Let's, let's freaking get some audio in here. Dude. Because some of these are truly iconic, including like Virginia Tech. They play actual songs. And also, while we're talking about this, guys, these uniforms are going to be in the game. I, I am going to do a video breaking down equipment and stuff like that. But guys, what you see is what you're going to get. You're going to have regular pants. You're going to have pants above the knees that are going to be in the game. You're going to have the tuck jerseys. Remember I told y'all I didn't, I don't remember seeing anybody with tuck uniforms, but I guys watch the Longhorns all the time and you rarely see them. I, I don't ever, hardly ever see them with tuck uniforms. Some coaches may not, hey, we ain't tucking our uniforms, we're wearing them. You know what I'm saying? But, dude, going back and looking, and I'm seeing it everywhere. It's crazy like the stuff that you really don't notice, if that makes sense. But the towels, the tuck uniforms, the back plates out, I'm pretty sure this guy got a back plate out. You know, the 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 arm sleeves, the leg sleeves, somebody back right here, he's got the leg sleeves on. His pants are a little bit normal. His definitely are, but you can tell his are above the knees right here. So that's really cool. Little homage as well. So, but we'll talk they about all that stuff in a different video. Ago, also, the difference. The tuck with the shirt under and the turk the tuck with with the sh the the skin show if they can take down Kentucky here at home tonight but here that's real cool off. man so picture running out like this man and, you know Mississippi State if you're a fan this is what you see every game you know what I'm saying and that's the cool thing because some of us you know it's like eh, you know it's a mediocre run out or whatever like that but for the people that love these schools and, and yeah, these run outs that's what it looks like in the game same thing, Texas A&M, you're going to have the crowd rocking. They actually showed kind of that in the trailer. So you know that this is legit, man, with these schools doing these types of things. The traditional 12th man, the rocking of the stands and stuff like that, and the tunnel, man. If this tunnel, like, and this is from this year, guys. So these are what the walkouts look like. So expect to see this stuff in the game. Because we've seen some of it in the trailer, and they talk about these types of things. So it's cool because when my cousin, uh, he used to play for SMU, and he talked about being at A&M, playing against A&M. They played against them before, and how it looks with the crowd rocking back and forth. He said it, it almost makes you kind of dizzy. It looks like the stands themselves are moving and stuff like that. So, you know, really, really cool type of, of, of things that you see right there. Expect to see these types of things on game day, on uh, EA Sports College Football 25. And we've seen some of it, like, with the people lined up on the side and things like that. Um, there was another one I wanted to, uh, I'm going to skip the DNA text because I know I'll probably get copyrighted with that in there. But, uh, now, you know. Penn State's, that's one that I wanted to see. So, Penn State's is really cool. Ranked seventh in the country. Because look, they're walking with their arms uh, linked. That's in the actual trailer. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a video mashup of the walkouts. the In real life compared to the trailer. I'm going to do that for y'all later this evening. Okay, but their arms are linked. They're walking out with the blue lights. That's in the actual trailer itself. Okay, we see some more of the, the clothing design. And then right here in the end zone, you see the S. That's in the trailer itself as well, man. Super freaking cool, man. We are Penn State. Like, dude, can you imagine Kirk Herstree and Chris Fowler coming on to introduce your team? 
the Penn State Nittany Lions and all that kind of stuff, dude. Like, and then, like, remember what I talked about yesterday, bro? Rem imagine being the, the visiting team. Like, right now they're playing Iowa. Imagine being Iowa. Poor little bitty Iowa. Well, I ain't going to say little bitty Iowa. And I'm not going to say poor because I'm pretty sure there's some Iowa Hawkeye fans. And I ain't trying to, you know what I'm saying, up upset anybody. But, dude. You watching this Penn State introduction. Oh, it's a whiteout game at night. Okay. You hearing the crowd rocking. You seeing the S in the end zone that the players enter through. And here you come marching out. You ain't got no band. You ain't got no cheerleaders. Bro, you barely got a mascot and a head coach, bro. These guys don't look like they're ready to play. And I'm not saying that they're not. But can you understand the intimidation factor? that's going on here you see what i'm saying imagine being the visiting team and this is going on can you understand why composure and play and team tier things are gonna be man, that's what makes college football games great you know what i'm saying they're running out they got everybody on their side it looks beefy because the s in the end zone just like it is look at that dude like oh man that, that'd be so cool to see on a in the game dude and and guys get you ready, these are the types of things. you're gonna hear this chant when penn state comes out you're gonna hear the crowd yelling we are penn state like these things are going to be in the game man this is going to be super cool. Guys, and you're going to have the people on the sideline. Georgia Tech, you're going to have the vehicle bringing you out and stuff like that. Guys, I can go on and on. Please go check that video out. It is going to get you super duper hype. But don't worry. I'm going to make a video for that that I don't care about monetization on so that you get to experience that. It's going to be a little hype video. It's going to be real cool. Y'all going to enjoy that. Um, so that's what we got to look for for with traditional team runouts. Rivalry rituals say that 10 times fast you're gonna have those things we saw with illinois with the with the trophy and, and, and man ohio state and michigan that's gonna be stupid crazy texas my beloved longhorns are are gonna be playing texas a&m again the rivalry is renewed like i robbery games in college football y'all gotta excuse me for getting excited because dude it, it's amazing how cool this stuff is Rivalry games in college football go stupid, man. It's nothing like Madden. Madden rivalry games, it's like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, the Cowboys and the Eagles, yeah, nothing special, you know? No, in college football, man, y'all know the rivalries are insane, okay? And it's going to be cool. One thing that I hope that you can do that would be really cool if they did a small thing, but a cool thing is if you can establish a rivalry because, you know, a lot of us are going to be rebuilding programs. I'm going to be playing with schools like Kennesaw State, you know, Kent State, uh, uh, teams like that, Sam Houston State that already do have rivals. But wouldn't it be cool if you can establish a rival? Like if you play a school every year, you could choose to play it, maybe create a trophy or have a trophy and, you know, just kind of make it into like a little rivalry game. That would be really, really dope to see. Um, so you also have synchronized crowd chants. Remember, we just talked about that with the Penn State entrance. And it, it, I mean, you had it in NCAA games before. Don't get me wrong, guys. But this is current gen. This is PS5, Xbox One. You see the graphics better. You know, the intros are going to be better. The chants are going to be better. Like, And I remember even a team builder. Remember, you can like upload audio you can upload and customize chants for your school do y'all remember when we used to be able to do that i don't know if it was in game that we could do that or if it was no yeah we did it on team builder if i'm not mistaken because you couldn't do it in game unless you there may have been a way that you could upload audio to the server and upload it to your game but there used to be a way guys where you can put i'm sorry man that's my freaking alarm guys gotta get ready for it but there was a way that you could put customized audio into the uh, NCAA football games. If y'all remember that, let me know down in the chat because that was an actual thing. So I wonder if they'll be able to do that with, with Team Builder as well. I think that they would. That way you get that, that home team customization type deals. And you can literally go in and customize those sites and sounds to be, hey, this is what happens on a kickoff. This is what happens when we get a first down. This is what, And it was crazy cool and detailed. Loudness meters, we've kind of talked about those yesterday. 
as well as real game day audio guys so the sights the sounds the stuff that you hear from these stadiums and there's other videos about that as well that teams have these certain traditions at timeouts and things like that that you're going to get to see the fight songs guys and of course the mascots man so people are also talking about game modes as far as mascot mashup and stuff i hadn't seen a tremendous amount of people talking about it but there are some people interested in it hadn't seen any game modes that are going to have it as of yet but that doesn't mean it's not in the game i kind of feel like if it was they would have said something because some people find that a big deal it, you know, it's not a deal breaker but it's something a lot of people like to play but anyway, it feels like home everywhere you look, guys. And the biggest draw, okay, to this whole iconic atmosphere, the presentation, and I can't wait for this deep dive to really experience this, is commentary and broadcast, guys. Listen to the iconic voices, and I talked about this before, of Kirk Herbstreet and Chris Fowler, as they call marquee matchups. Okay, while Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, and Reese Davis take the mic for all your other games. Like, dude, this is super cool because we all have the experience of watching college football games where you you go and you watch you you watch your subdivision schools or your FCS schools or even the lower class FBS schools, you know, like your your I hate to keep saying it, Kent State, your your Louisiana Techs or or your your conference USA or all American schools like SMU. Yeah, SMU is on the come up, but let's be real, you know what I'm saying? SMU was not a primetime game back in the day. You know what I'm saying? So you watch those schools play. And even if they were playing like a Texas Tech or a Alabama, you, you didn't have the top tier broadcast. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know the games that you watch on Saturday during the day. But then when 7 o'clock hit, okay, and that primetime marquee game of the week everybody has been waiting for, a college game day game comes on. And it lights up, the music is playing, and then enter Chris Fowler, introducing the, the schools, talking about the teams, talking about the matchup, the hype that's built up. Guys, that's even in the trailer as well. Yes, sir. That's in the trailer as well. When they introduce the trailer, you actually have him, uh, you actually have him talking or introducing that, the kind of build up for the game and stuff like that. So that is super cool, man. And to only experience them two on marquee matchups, like, and I hope they bring it back to where the games are labeled game of the week and stuff like that. Like, now in Dynasty mode, you know, I hope they keep it original. You know what I'm saying? I don't want these two announcing every one of my games. You know what I'm saying? But if it's me, I'm playing with the Longhorns and we are going against Oklahoma or Texas A&M or Georgia. Who that Georgia game? Boy, if Kerb and Chris ain't announcing that game, and it'll be cool if they're not. It depends on the time that the game is played and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And I, you know, I wonder, is it going to have to do with rankings and, and records and stuff? I'm pretty sure it is, you know, but that would be crazy cool. It's crazy cool to experience. You're going to have a different commentary team based on the level of game that you have. The marquee games are going to have Kurt and Chris. You know what I'm saying? The the non-marquee games, Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, and Reese Davis. You're going to have three guys on that commentary squad. You know what I'm saying? That is going to be stupid cool. And it's going to add to the intensity of those big-time games because we all have them. That one game, that rivalry game, or whatever it may be, your conference championship, the playoffs, the national championship, that is going to make those other games feel different. And I like it because it gives a change of pace throughout the season. Unlike Madden where all the games feel the same unlike in other college football games where the games feel the same from a presentation and commentary standpoint you kind of create your own hype don't get me wrong you know when it's a big time game but guys imagine playing freaking louisiana tech in in week five and then the next week in week seven you're playing in tuscaloosa at night all right against alabama crimson tide all right. And you go from having Jesse Palmer and them announcing it, a, a very low crowd noise because, you know, it's not a marquee game. It's not a very hype game or anything like that to boom the next night. Big time game, home game, the or road game, you know, and the crowd is busting loud and the meter is off the charts. Your composure, the screen is shaking. You got a major introduction and you hear Kurt and Chris announcing that game or something to that effect, guys. Like the difference in games are unreal. 
You know what I'm saying? And that's going to give freshness to the season. It's going to give longevity to the season. Guys, they recorded commentary for over a year. So can you imagine the different dialogue lines? And then the fact that you're not going to have these two on every game. You're not going to have the same commentary team for every game. That is going to extend the longevity and freshness of the college football season. Playing this game and stuff like that. And what I really hope is what they do in Madden where they update the commentary as the season goes on. That would be really dope as well. But guys, I could talk all day. I can talk all day, but your boy got to get ready for work. I'm super hyped. Like I said, expect that that mashup video as well for the, the college football intros and stuff like that, guys. But, man, I'm super hyped. But like I said, if you're new to the channel, do your boy a solid. Do yourself a solid and hit that subscribe button because you're getting content like this almost every day, man. Till next time, y'all. Thanks for watching. Peace. EA Sports. It's in the game. Uh-huh.